the show. I go, I go to, the, I go down to uh, the uh, Palladium, mm-hmm. and uh, there's the trucks, there's the buses, and uh, I'm just sort of standing around, and I see someone getting off the bus, and it's Whitey. Mm. I'm like. What's up, man? He's like, oh, Gary, how you doing? Oh, cool. Well, I came at the right. I came at the right day, because here's the thing: if you come at the wrong day, these guys might not have gotten paid. Oh, okay. So it might have been, you know, the, the end of the. You know, we're getting paid tomorrow. But I hit. I hit the right day, and I really didn't have. And here's the other thing. He drove the bus for them, but he drove Rush's bus. Rush was driving city to city. The tour was set up. So New York two nights, they were just below the stadium, uh, the arenas yet. So it would be kind of what Ring of Honor does when the New Japan talent comes over, where we're about three, two Two to three hours away, we just take a bus. Absolutely. Okay. And so they would, you know, two nights at the Academy of Music, two nights at the Tower Theater. Mm-hmm. Then they're going to go to uh, Washington to the Warner Theater, so on and so forth. And uh, Whitey drove Russia, the guys from Russia's bus. So he's got Getty Lee. He's got he's got everybody in there. Neil Pert. Neil Pert. Yeah. Alex Leifson and. You know, if it would have been like, ooh, he drove for the stone. <laughs> or, you know, he drove for Led Zeppelin. Or uh, he drew even, you know, oh, Black Sabbath. You know, it's like, you know, I, I even though I... I knew their their songs were getting you know, starting to. They had been getting FM airplay, but once again, I believe if you look it up, this is right when Spirit of the Radio okay. and Limelight were coming out mm-hmm. and were really hit, hitting big. And uh, so I find Whitey, and he takes me onto the uh, onto the bus, and they were inside doing rehearsal. Okay, Mm -hmm. and he says, "What do you have?" I just put, "Well, what do you want?" And basically, they thankfully for me and and for my later uh, meeting with Shredded Ed, they basically bought me out. Wow, I was I was it was like you know the the perfect storm, and. the thing was, I, w- I had to meet Ed at like 10 o'clock, and I don't remember who was opening up for them. I should know this, but I don't we can look it up. But um, the only guy were on the bus and were in the front of the tour bus. Uh, you know, have you been on one of these tour buses? Sure, you have. Yeah, they're, they're massive. They've got the lounge mm-hmm. past the driver's area. Then you've got the bunks. Right. And then in the back, there's like another lounge. Mm -hmm. So we're in the first lounge area and he's got curtains. You know, there's curtains up. And um, the only guy that got on the bus was Neil Peart. Mm -hmm. And I would. If he knocked me over, I wouldn't, you know. <laughs> he and, was and, the drummer, right? Famously has the yes. 360 drum set. Right. And, yeah. and, and the stuff, you know, like I'm in his house. Right. <laughs> and the stuff's laying out, you know, on the table. Obviously, Whitey was, you know, and he, he's like, uh, Whitey's like, uh, uh, Neil, this is a good friend of mine. This is Carrie. And, and Neil Parrott shakes my hand. Go, oh, how are you? I go, good. I go. And, uh, I, I didn't really know what to say, except I'm thinking I'm sitting in this guy's house. There's a pile of cocaine out. <laughs> you know? So the only thing I knew, thought to say was, um, w- w- would you like some? And he's like, uh, yeah, I would. But after the show. <laughs> so-